Today we are going to preserve green peas, carrots and cauliflower. We have about 400 grams of green peas, 700 grams of carrots and cauliflower, about 500 grams after cleaning. So first we'll boil water in a large utensil or a vessel and add about 5 to 6 tablespoons of salt and let the water come to a boil. We will blanch the vegetables once the water comes to a rolling boil and uh, we'll blanch the vegetables one at a time since they have different blanching times depending on the hardness. The water has come to a rolling boil, we'll add the green peas and keep them in for exactly one minute and after that we are going to strain out the green peas and pour them immediately in ice cold water. We will reheat this water to blanch the other vegetables and now we will put the green peas in the ice cold water and let them remain in till they are cooled completely. We will now heat this water till it comes to a rolling boil. In the meantime we will check on the green peas and if they are cold we will transfer them to a plate. The water again has come to a rolling boil and now we'll add the carrots and we'll keep the carrots for three minutes. We'll repeat the same process as before after three minutes. And use the same water for the third vegetable, the cauliflower. The carrots have cooled down, we'll transfer them to the same plate. If you intend freezing the vegetables separately, transfer them to separate plates. But since we aren't, we're transferring to the same plate. The water has started boiling, it's the turn of the third vegetable, that is the cauliflower. So we'll put in the cauliflower now and keep the cauliflower in for exactly two minutes. Cauliflower is done, we will repeat the process one more time. Transfer the cauliflower to the same plate and mix the vegetables thoroughly since we will be packing as a mixed wedge pack. We need to mix up the vegetables. Well, all our vegetables are ready to be packed. And here we have all the vegetables packed and ready to go into the freezer. Do try this and let us know how it goes for you. Please share this video and also subscribe to our channel. And see you soon with another interesting recipe. Well, exactly, this was just a process, not a recipe, but all the same a useful way to store fresh produce or whenever you have produced in excess. Thanks for watching. Have a very nice day and see you soon. Thank you.